You have no chance against me, spider scum! Boom! Have that! Hi people and welcome back to a new Minecraft mod video. Today I'm going to be looking at the Balkans Weapon mod. This mod is actually really really good and I highly recommend it. And many of you probably played with it before. It's pretty popular, one of the most popular weapons mods that are. So I'm going to start taking a look at the melee style weapons. And starting off with a spear which you can see in my hand here. Oh yeah. So this is a weapon that can be made with like this let me just show you here where's the spear there we go stick stick and whatever material you want will make the spear so you can see you can have a gold variety an iron variety a wooden or a stone and of course the diamond one so this is a spear now this spear is less damage than the sword it has a small knockback it actually has a longer reach so you'll be able to reach a bit further with this and you can actually throw it as well, so if you throw it, it will like go into the ground like that, and you can pick it up back up again, which is awesome. So you don't lose it by throwing it, you don't waste your diamonds. So this is, has been the spear. So next we're going to look at the halberd. Now the halberd is, also does less damage than the sword. It has a very large knockback. It, get, it has a longer reach, just like the spear, one block further. And if you right click, you switch to stabbing mode, which does more damage but has a smaller knockback. So this is stabbing mode, this is normal mode, awesome. And this can be made from all the stuff, different materials as well. So as you can see, you've got wood, stone, iron, diamond, and gold. So And you make it like this. Diamond, 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 stick and stick. And as you can see, that everything's got their own stats in 1.6. You see, it's got slower attack speed as well. Uh, it's got the same attack damage and a little bit of knockback. Okay. So next, we're going to move on to the diamond battle axe. So the battle axe. Let's have a look here. So the battle axe ignores armor and does as much damage as a sword. So this is good against armored things. It's got a slow attack speed, it's got a large knockback, and you can actually chop wood with this. Although, in theory, you could chop wood with anything, but I mean, this probably actually chops trees a bit faster, so... There is actually a tree over here we can test this out on. If you really want to see me to chop wood, wood with a battle axe, I mean, why would you waste your weapon on a tree? Who knows, but you can. Let's chop this tree. Yeah, see? Awesome. So that is the battle axe, and of course that has all the same varieties as well. As you can see here, we have the you can see wood, stone, iron, diamond, gold, and you make it like this. You need five diamonds for this one, so a bit more costly, but certainly does a lot of damage. So next we are going to move on to the warhammer. So the warhammer is also got a slow attack speed. It does as much damage as a sword as well, and has a large knockback. Now, it can do... Let's show you this. If you hold down your right click, you can do this. And it does sort of like a mini explosion. And it hurts surrounding mobs, and... The better the material or the weapon, so diamonds going to be the best, the bigger the amount of damage you do. So, And also you can destroy blocks, like, really fast. Look at that. So it's kind of right, really good. I'm not sure how well it works on stone. Let's just have a look here. I know it works good on dirt. And of course that's going to just drain your durability a lot. No, it's not very good against that. But I guess it can act as a temporary shovel if you want. So next we're going to move on to the knife. So of course you would expect this to do less damage than a sword. And it actually has half the durability of a sword as well. Has a small knockback, as you you wouldn't expect a knife to do a massive knockback. And you can also throw it like the spear. Look at that. So give me that back. Uh, let's throw it at these squids. Ah, oh, not very good aim. Ah, uh, no. I want my knife. All right, squid. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. 
Die! Yeah! Give me that ink sack. So you can throw it, as you can see. And of course it can be made with all the materials. You only actually need one diamond to make this. Actually I didn't even show you the warhammer. There you go, there's a warhammer. But this is how you make the knife. It's just like a stick and a diamond. So it's really cheap. Of course it's got half of the durability, so you might not want to make this. So finally we're going to move on to the last melee weapon here, which is the flail. Yes, so the flail. You can swing this around. So for, you can right click and it does that. And like the more you throw it around and stuff like this, right clicking all the time, it reduces its durability. But I really like the flail. Flail is my personal favorite out of the melee weapons. And it does as much damage as a sword. And here's the crafting recipe. So it's one diamond again. So this this is probably a better use of your diamond. But you need some string for this. So I'll build it like a fishing rod. Almost. Almost. So there is actually some more melee weapon. Another melee weapon that I haven't got to yet. Which is the katana. Yeah. Gotta love some katanas. So the damage is very small. But it's got really fast attack speed. Look at that. Oh yeah. Very fast attack speed. And... This is how you make it. Stick, diamond, diamond. Katana. Awesome. So that's it for the melee weapons. Next we're going to be looking at the throwing weapons. So there's three different throwable weapons in this game. I guess you could sort of count the spear and the knife as a throwing weapon. But not really. These are mainly throwing weapons. So first up is the javelin. Now let's have a look how you make the javelin. It's stick, stick, and flint, and you get four of these javelins. So, the damage is more than arrows. You've got, you've got to be quite near to the target, and it's got a large deviation. And if you if you throw it at full power, it'll do a critical hit. While, if you if thrown while jumping, so let's try and do that. Uh, oh, yeah, look at that. Jump! Oh, yeah. Have that sp and javelin in your face. Or in your side, in that case. So that's the javelin. Next one's the throwable dynamite. It's just not ordinary TNT. So if you right click it, you would light it and throw it. Uh, it does half the TNT blocks worth of damage to blocks. And you can disable the block damage in the properties file. So it j just in general, it does half damage to TNT. So let's throw it over there. Boom! Really good, useful for going down to mine. I believe it does blow up uh, the stone. Yep. Might need quite a lot more of these than TNT to do some mining. But there you go. That's the throwable dynamite. Next we're going to move on to the boomerangs. So like the other melee weapons, it has all different varieties. The wood, the stone, the iron, the diamonds. And in fact I didn't show you how to make the dynamite. It's gunpowder on a string. There you go. Two gunpowder on a string even. Diamond boomerang, you make it like this, wood, wood, diamond, wood, wood, or whatever material you want. So, the boomerang. Its distance depends on aim time. It, or it can be made from anything, and you start aiming and then release to throw. So, let's see if we can, how far we can throw at this sheep here. So, aim time. Can we get it? Oh, we missed. That, go, that went pretty damn far, look at that. So you should be able to get this sheep if it stays still. Go through the sheep. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. Boomerang. Alright. That's it for the throwable weapons. Alright, so now we're going to be talking about the shooting weapons. So the first one is the musket, which you make with a gun stock and a musket barrel. You're probably like, whoa. They're not in no normal Minecraft, so how do you make these? Well, to make the musket barrel, you need iron, 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 and a flint of steel in that formation there. And to make the gun stock, you need a stick, stick, and a plank of wood. And you put them together, and you get a musket. As you can see here, it's got a quite a long reload time. And you need these musket rounds for this as well, so let me show you how to make these. To get eight musket rounds, you need an iron ingot, a gunpowder, and a paper. So there we go. So to fire this weapon, you right click, you can see it's got a massive reload time, and when it's clicked you know it's ready to go. 
And now you can like just fire it up like this. Hop, aim like a bow. Fire! And there you go. So, if you actually hit with this, it does 10 hearts of damage. It does massive damage. But it is quite inaccurate. And it's got... Apparently it's supposed to have a gigantic range. And firing also damages the weapon. As you can see, it's got a durability bar on my bar. So, also, you can actually attach a knife to a musket. So... Whatever material or knife you get, you can attach it to the uh, musket. So this is a bayonet, of course. And there we go. So as you can see, we'll be able to fire this again. And fire! And you should be able to melee things with this as well, doing, doing a lot more damage. So that is good. So next we're going to look at the crossbow. So you need crossbow belt, bolts for the crossbow. Feather and an iron ingot will give you four crossbow bolts. And to make the crossbow, you need a bow, some iron ingots, and some sticks in that formation. That actually looks really like a crossbow in the crafting grid there. So, to fire the crossbow, right click as usual. Not as long reload time as a musket. And you fire like this. Oh yeah. Fires the bolt. Just click. Fire. There we go. And it does more damage than normal... Uh, bows I believe and fires further than a bow as well so it does large damage it also depends on the velocity of the the uh, the hour uh, the dart but and the velocity depends on the aim, aim time and stuff so there we go so finally no not finally next <laughs> we're gonna head on to the blowgun which is made by free sugar cane that give you the blowgun so let me show you the different types of ammo you can have here. I just got rid of one. That was stupid of me. So where are they? So we've got the poison dart, which is made by feather, cactus, and a stick. This will poison things when you hit it with the blowgun. We've got the slowness dart. You can see, slowness too. A slime ball stick and a feather. We've got the poison dart too, which gives you like even more powerful poison. Spider eye, feather, and a stick. And the other one which I didn't have on my bar, which I got rid of, is the hunger dart. Yes, you can make things hungry. Probably better again in PvP. So let's fire this. Oh yeah. See? Click. Fire. Awesome. So, a bit more stats about the dart. It has, of course, the poison darts, the hunger darts and the slowness darts as ammo. It has approximately the same range as the bow, it depends on aim time, it has a small deviation and it, it does a really small amount of damage, like half a heart, but of course it applied the effect, so that is good. So next we're going to move on to the blunderbuss. Yes, the blunderbuss. Uh, let me show you how to make this. You need the gunstock and the blunderbuss barrel. Blunderbuss barrel is made like this. I showed you the gun stock before. All right, so to make this, you actually need the blunderbuss. To make this fire, you need the blunderbuss shot, which is made like this. Paper, gunpowder, and gravel will give you eight blunderbuss shots. So right click, start reloading, and fire. Oh, look at that. Massive knockback there. It does small damage, but it depends on how many bullets you fire. So I think you can fire multiple bullets. I'm not sure. See? It fires like... It's kind of like a shotgun. fires like multiple bullets in the angle. Um, the more, of course, that hits the, the, the target, the more damage you will do. It, so to do lots of damage, you need them all to hit. But each one does a small amount of damage. And you need to be pretty close range to be on it. All right. So each blunderbuss shot apparently does 10 bullets as well, so if, you're, if you've got a group of people there, you can do a small amount of damage to a large amount of things. Awesome. So the final shooting weapon here is the flintlock pistol. And this actually uses musket rounds, and it is made like this. It's iron ingots, flint and steel, it's planks and a stick. And it does half the damage of the the musket and you gotta be pretty close so here we go fire that off awesome so that has been 
all the ranged weapons. And now we're going to look at the other weapons and miscellaneous stuff here. So first thing is this training dummy which you can put down and you can train on it. So just punch this. Oh look at that. If I use this on it. Just train on it. It's training dummy. It's I would say it's more decorative. But anyway, into the the two other weapons here we have. First of all is the fire rod. It's made of a torch and a stick and a stick. Uh, Early is one durability, so if you hit something with it, it will disappear. But this does half a heart damage and sets the thing on fire. So it's quite cheap to make. And you can just set things on fire with it. Well, enemies anyway. So on to the final thing here, which is the cannon. The best thing of them all. So let's show you to make a cannon first. You need iron ingots like that. Flint is still there. Bit of wood. And you get this big cannon. Now, you can't fire the cannon like other weapons. You actually have to sit on mount this weapon. So we're just going to put it on the ground like that. And there we have a cannon. This would be awesome for like some like uh, sort of cannon fights on like pirate ships and stuff. That would be pretty sweet. And also you need cannonballs and gunpowder. So you make cannonballs with stone in a cross like that. And you, of course, know how to get gunpowder by now. So, right click to place it on the ground. Now, you right click the cannon. Oh, God, right. Right click the cannon with the cannonball. It will use a. You see, it's, you can hear it loading up. It will use a cannonball and a gunpowder. So, you right click on it with a cannonball, it will reload. Right click on the cannon to mount it. Here we go. Can we aim? Here we go. And are we going to fire? Yeah! Space bar to fire. So can we load up again? Do I have to get off to load it every time? God damn it. Get back on and whatever your jump key is, is the fire key. Is it odd key for firing? Let's fire at the target, damn it. Oh, look at that. Oh, it bounced off. Wow. That's amazing. Let's try again. Load. Ready to fire. Don't you the training dummy? Ah, oh, training dummy just got owned, or not? Everything else got owned, but the training dummy. So that's the cannon, my personal favourite there. Awesome. So this has been Balkan's weapon mod. Links in the description below. You need Minecraft Forge, and I highly recommend this. I couldn't recommend this mod enough. This is an amazing mod. So yep, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.